This morning, ABC News has obtained emails sent from a Texas state trooper to his superior describing, quote, inhumane policies on the border, saying troopers were told to deny migrants water and were even told to push children back into the river. The trooper saying we decided this was not the correct thing to do with the very real potential of exhausted people drowning. It's hard for me to imagine a Texas a law enforcement member uh, thinking that those things were OK, but if it was true, and if it did happen, then heads need to roll. That's inhumane. In response, the Texas Department of Public Safety issued a statement saying the troopers are the ones who perform rescues while trying to stop migrants from placing themselves in harm's way. The trooper also raised concern about the risk posed by newly installed razor wire, providing pictures of serious injuries suffered by migrants and describing a pregnant woman who got stuck in the wire and experienced a miscarriage. Texas Governor Greg Abbott's office responding, saying Texas is deploying every tool and strategy to deter and repel illegal crossings between ports of entry. Critics question if that strategy is going too far. We know here from this email that we have a medic within the Department of Public Safety that had a crisis of conscience that said we are treating these people in, in, a, in a horrible, inhumane way. Meanwhile, the latest data from Homeland Security shows a 30 percent decrease in migrant encounters at the southern border compared to this time last year. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.